All right, welcome back. So uh, in this ex example, we'll be looking again at using rate laws. And specifically, we're given a reaction that we're told the rate law of this reaction is rate equals K multiplied by N205 with K a specific value. And I want you to specifically look at the units of K. We're giving it as per second. You can notice that it is a decomposition reaction, not only because it's just one reactant decomposing or going to a lot of to two products, but also because it says decompose. Um, it asks how long does it take for 87.5 percent of the original amount of uh, the N two O five to decompose. So in other words, how long does it take for the initial amount of N two O five to decompose to or decrease to 87.5 percent of the original amount now, the reason i say the units of k are important and the word decompose are important is all these words indicate to you that it is a first order reaction so it's first order it's also important because you can immediately see it from the rate law. I mean, its rate is equal to K multiplied by the concentration to the power one. It's a first order reaction. So it's as we define rate um, or order of reaction is dependent on the concentration or the order of the, um, uh, the power of the concentration in the rate law. So all these things tell you it's a first order reaction. So that gives you what kind of integrated rate law you need to be using, where, what you need to be looking up. So if we uh, broaden the, um, the way that we write what we're looking at, we can see that the rate, so we're just going to substitute in K is equal to K concentration of N205, just to get a feel of stuff, that is equal to 6.93 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 per second, multiplied by N205. All right, first order reaction, we know a lot about this. Now we're told um, we want to know what is the concentration at a time when 0 .7 or 87.5% of this thing has decomposed? Put in the mathematical terms, this means when the N205, when has it gone or decreased basically to 0 0.125 or 12.5% of what it initially was? Um, so if it decreased by 87.5%, it means 12.5% needs to be left. Or put differently, it means N205 initially, and we have lost 0 0.875, which is the fraction we have lost of N205. Which then leaves us with 0 0.125, which is also known as 12.5% in 205. So that's the next important part. So we know it's first orders. So that means we can use the integrated rate law of a first order reaction, which is ln concentration at time t05 time t divided by into O five zero is equal to minus K T. All right. And your first question might be, but we're not given actual values. We we're not told you know the initial concentration. We're just told these fractions. And the nice thing about it is you only need the fractions because if you substitute in the fractions, in other words, you say, well, the concentration at time t is this expression we have at top here is then 0 0.125 of what it was initially. Um, 
and we divide that by the initial concentration, you see that those two terms will cancel. So those two things are going to cancel. That's going to cancel with that. So you won't have to stress about that. You can plug in K, so that's 6.93 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 per second. And we want to calculate how long that takes. So, yeah, in general, if you want to calculate how long it takes, we use the integrated rate law. So this side gives us um, lin of 0 0.125. This side gives us minus 6.93 times 10 to the negative 3 per second, T. And you can solve for T by dividing by the right-hand side's coefficient. And you should get to three significant figures, 300 seconds. Because the rate constant is in per second, that means your time unit will be second. All right. So it will take 300 seconds for uh, N2O5 to decompose by 87.5%. Or in, in other words, put three half lives. Um, but yeah, that's not for this example at the moment. You can also use that, of course, um, for how long will it take to compose for three half lives. Um, but this example, I decided to go the other way around. All right. Um, I think, yeah, that's that's it for now. Um, I'll see you in the next the next example video. Thank you for watching.